Hello everybody, it's Jews one Campbell here, and welcome to my first Let's Play. And so then, for my first Let's Play, we're going to be doing... With the first game I ever bought from a PlayStation Store, Sonic Adventure 2. Um, there's a reason why I wanted to do some Let's Plays, and there are three Let's Plays that I wanted to start off with as my first one, but... Honestly... Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they were all Sonic games. So, the first one I really wanted to start off with was, it either came to Shadow the Hedgehog on the Xbox, Sonic Colors on the Wii, or Sonic Adventure 2 on the PS3. I went with Sonic Adventure 2 because, well, I just felt like it was the more loved Sonic game, and I, I haven't got the battle version yet, and, yeah. So, all these save files right here, file 1 I've spent the most time on, so yeah, I've spent almost a hundred hours, while the others, well, spent on, like, an hour, and this one I've got a couple hours, but less, because I pretty much suck at this game, pretty much. So, we're going to start a new file, and, um, let's do the hero story. So, um, when I get Sonic Adventure on my PS3, like, um, I played Sonic Adventure at my friend, best friend's house on Steam, but I don't have the game, so I can't really, well, play it. But when I do get Sonic Adventure on my PS3, I'll do my first imp my true first impressions on the game and not just the uh, beginning. So, yeah. Um, here's a bit of backstory that you guys might want to know. So, um, when I was wanting to get a PS3 game from a PS Store, I chose between uh, Sonic Adventure games, Sonic Adventure or Sonic Adventure 2, because when I was a kid, I thought Sonic Adventure 2 was superb overrated. Like, everybody was calling it the best Sonic game, and I really did not understand why. But, when I got the chance to buy a Sonic Adventure game from a PS Store, I chose between either Sonic Adventure or Sonic Adventure 2. Um, I chose Sonic Adventure 2 because... Um, well, since that was known as the best Sonic game, I really wanted to see why. And, um... Yeah, I chose Sonic Adventure 2, and... Turns out, I can see why people like it, but then again, there are aspects about this game I do find a bit overrated. Such as the stages. They're not really as great as they used to be in the past, but... In a way, most of the stages, especially the Sonic and Shadow stages, are still really fun. So, yeah, um... City is... So, start up, starting off the trend of Sonic stages, we have, um... City Escape, and much like with everyone else, I really love this level. It may not be my favorite level in this game, but the main reason why I love this level is, of course, the music. Escape from the City is actually a pretty cool music track. In fact, it was on my top 100 favorite video game soundtracks, but however, um... After listening to more Sonic songs, it's really not as good as I remembered, and much like with the rest of Sonic Adventure 2, I really thought this song was overrated. Like, it's not a bad song, in fact, I think it's very catchy, but I think it's just overshadowing other songs in the game. That's all. Ah. Dang it, I keep forgetting XX is the homing attack. Um, so, on my deleted YouTube channel, The Orange Coin, and yes, I know I missed that checkpoint, um, I'm not gonna die anyways. So, um, my last Let's Play on The Orange Coin was Sonic Boom, and I didn't really complete it, because, well, I honestly have no idea why, and I have no idea why that just happened. And, okay. I have no idea why I haven't completed Sonic Boom. I guess when I started doing countdowns on the, on the Orange Corn before I deleted it, um, I just really didn't have the time to finish Sonic Boom. That's all. I did some other Let's Plays, such as uh, Marvel Contest of Champions on me on Android, and 
it was canceled because my because well my iPad can download games from the PlayStation Store. Well, not store. I mean Google Play Store. Sorry, I don't know why I keep calling it the PlayStation Store, but. Anyways, um, yeah, Marvel, Con so yeah, Contest of Champions was one of the games I, it was my first Let's Play on the Orange Corn, um, dang it, it was a bit, um, so yeah, yeah, goodbye, truck, and there's a gold ring right there, um, so yeah, um, Sonic Adventure 2, I still think it's a really good game, I recommend checking it out, but, Newer gamers of Sonic might see this game as, um, hasn't even aged all that well. And I can see why from a technical standpoint. I was like that in 2015 when I got this game. But, um, yeah, um, so, so yeah, it, Sonic Adventure 2 may have been good for its time, but it's not really anymore. I mean, it's still a gr I mean, it's still a great, good game, but it's not really a great game. Anyways, we're, anyways, this is the first boss of the game, the F-60 Bigfoot. And honestly, this is a pretty good introduction boss. All you just gotta do is hit on its head thing three times, but, um, you gotta time the homing attack just right, because otherwise he'll land, or he'll hit you with the laser thing. All you just gotta do is hit him four times, and you win. Um, got one more to go. <laughs> this is easy. So, um, I'm probably gonna do only two levels this video, because it's pretty late at night, and, well, I just figured that the Let's Play should be not as long, but, eh, whatever. Anyways, that was the first boss. Oh yeah, because I know I just came out of nowhere. And for some reason, I have this jewel with me containing the ultimate power. Honestly, I really like this cutscene so much because, well, it, it, it's the first cutscene in the game that introduces Shadow other than him freeing from Prison Island. You can call whatever what. You can call whichever one of the two cutscenes in the game that introduced Shadow. Either the one that Eggman Freedom from Prison Island or this particular cutscene right here. But for but for me, I think that this is actually Shadow's introduction to, to the series. But canonically, it is Eggman Freedom from Prison Island. Oh uh, yeah, the other reason why this game hasn't aged well is also the audio mixing with the music. Seriously, you can barely hear what some of the characters say. And this is just kind of, well, a little bit annoying at least, but, uh. Oh man. Oh uh, yeah, and some animations of the game has been u have been used numerous times. It's kind of like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but that was released 16 years after this, so I can't really compare it to it. Oh uh, yeah, and some people say that, even on Metacritic, say that the PS3 version is one of the inferior versions to Sonic Adventure 2, and I can see why. It's not as good as the GameCube and, as the GameCube and Dreamcast versions, but in a way, I still think this is pretty good. Besides, if you don't really have a Dreamcast or GameCube, you could find it on PS3 or Xbox 360. And you could still have a pretty good time. Maybe it could be why I didn't enjoy Sonic Adventure 2 as much, but... Ugh. Hmm. Oh, so she's a part of Batman now, huh? I'm Batman! I'm Batgirl! 
And oh man. Um yeah. Wait, what? Uh okay, I just found that without getting any hints. And um these are Knuckles' treasure hunting stages. You'll find the you'll Oh uh, man, I don't know how to say this properly, but I'm just gonna spell it out. I hate these stages. Like, I don't really- There is barely any stage in this game that- Like, there's barely any treasure hunting stage in this game I like. Other than this one, but, uh Well, not really anything has interested me about the treasure hunting stages. It's just finding the- pieces, but even then, I mean, there are hints to help you progress through the, through the, well, stages, but here's the thing, some of the treasure hunting, some of the hints are either useless or, or just, or just make you not understand a single freaking thing, and this is why I hate the most about the treasure hunting stages, I mean, I really do not like treasure hunting in video games. I don't mind it in real life, but in a video game? Just... No. No. Where the heck is this flippin' Oh. Oh wait, you've gotta be kidding me. I found... I found an emerald piece without even... That's the second time in a row. So yeah, it's pretty much possible to beat every treasure hunting stage without looking at any hints. But you will be struggling if you don't use them, so I recommend using them for newer Sonic Adventure 2 players. Also, wait a minute, what's up with this camera? Oh, where is it? Come on! Ugh. I hate this, I really do. Come on! Um, ah! Oh. Wait, it was that- Fine, you put it down there, why not? Why flippin' not? <sighs> not my fastest time for a while, Canyon, but... Yeah, I feel good. Oh, you do, huh? Oh, man, and you have to do these numerous times throughout the game, so you better have to wish me luck, guys. Anyways, um, I, I said that we were going to do only two stages, but we got a boss battle after, so let's just do this. Hmm. I love this cutscene right here. Especially with Tails' theme playing in the background while he's talking. If you guys don't know what this music is, it's Believe in Myself by Kaz Silver, which is pretty much a remix music track from the original Sonic Adventure. And, um, well, uh, I, it's actually one of my favorite remix tracks in all of Sonic history. In fact, if you guys watched my top 15 favorite Sonic characters on my original channel, which barely you did, you know that I played this during my Tales entry, and... Because I love this track so much. Oh yeah, and the battle against Eggman. These are one of the things called the rival battles. And the first two rival battles in this game are pathetically easy. Like seriously, you could just spam your attacks. Like, see there. Nah, I'll destroy you first, Eggface. Oh, fine. I'll, I'll go hot on you. How about that? 27 seconds. <sighs> um, you know what? We got a lot of time in this video. I might as well just do prison lane and yeah. Um, Tails, you know you're younger than Amy, right? And I know you have more battle experience than her, but honestly. 
Did Sega not even bother remixing My Sweet Passion uh, for Amy's Fame? Because it's exact. Because this is just ripped off the. the. Amy's Fame from Sonic Avenger. This is the exact same song. Why can't they just remix it like they did with the other three characters? Anyways, um, I wanted to show you the next stage of this video since about, well, I just figured, hey, um, since I introduced to you the Tails and Knuckles, well, Sonic and Knuckles stages, I might as well just introduce to you, um, um, Tails' is first stage as well in this video, since uh, it would be pretty rude to leave one of my favorite Sonic characters behind. And, yeah, these are the next stages, and much like with the Knuckle, M Knuckles and Sonic stages, you have to go through these in order to progress through the game. Now, I know some people don't like the next stages in Adventure 2, but these are honestly sort of guilty pleasure stages in mine. Consider them like gamma stages from Sonic Adventure, even though I haven't gotten up to that bit yet. Oh, really? You're just gonna make me fall off? Oh yeah, because I don't have the boosters equipped. Dang it, I'm so used to playing 100 out the 100 hours of Sonic Adventure 2 on my old save file that, well... <sighs> that I'm just not used to replaying a new game. Because I mean, I've done this new... Because I've done this numerous times in Sonic Adventure 2, and for some reason I've only completed one. Oh, and when we get to the flipping aquatic mine, because we're definitely going to need that power up for sure. Um, actually, I never checked what's up here. Oh, oh wait, yeah. Um, we could just jump down here. And, um, honestly, Prison Lane is a good introduction to Tales of, to the mech stages for Tales' parts of the story since the... Honestly, I'm... Honestly, I think it's a decent level. I don't think it's anything that interesting, but... Uh, there are some elements about this level I just don't like all in that golden. Um, one of the episodes, I will show you the Chow Garden when I do get the chance, so, um, yeah, one day I'll show you the Chow Garden. And the Chow Garden uh, is one of the most interesting things about Sonic Adventure 2 that I really like. Seriously, I wasted so much time, I didn't waste so much time on Sonic Adventure 2 raising my Chow, but I've raised so much of them, and this is what I love about Sonic Adventure 2. Anyways, um, this gate won't be open unless you find the robot here and destroy it. And we are almost at the end of Tails' stage. All we just have to do is defeat these robots and... And, you know, before before we get into the goal ring, I might as well just collect everything else. No, 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 no. you avoid that, you avoid that. So yeah, these things that uh, I've been collecting throughout the stages... Oh, there's one more robot there. Anyways, the... Uh, the things that I've been collecting proper stages, these glow stick things, you can use those to feed your chow and give them more experience. So yeah. And that's my third emblem. Right. And Sonic in Jail. Not like that's ever happened before, am I right? <laughs> no, seriously, it actually hasn't. Seriously, it's pretty much the exact opposite. Because in Sonic Adventure, Amy was the one that's been thrown in jail by Eggman. But Sonic has been imprisoned by the government. Like, just, just wow. Yeah, no, you didn't. Anyways, you guys just watch the rest of the cutscene, and I'll see you guys next time.